Hi, y'all. I had to take my car in for service today, so I'm out in Chambly, Georgia, and I'm just passing the Frosty Caboose. Such a little hidden gem of the best ice cream around. This area is also well known for their antique stores and thrift shops, so while I'm in the area, I'm absolutely stopping to see if I can find some treasures. There's two thrifts right next to each other, so first on my hit list is St. Vincent de Paul. Right off the bat, it's a breath of fresh air to see an actual mission displayed, and I'm not walking into a thrift store that just puts people to work. I didn't see any full-size buggies, so I'm just gonna have to settle for this basket. Which is a blessing in disguise, because I don't need to be buying anything. Then the universe sent me a buggy, so I know that I'm in for some good finds. Starting off with the exclusive shoes that are on this front rack, and I found these incredible Katy Perry Rubik's Cube heeled high heel shoes. They're my regret of the day for not purchasing because I saw that they were $18 and thought they were a little pricey. What I didn't realize until the end when I was checking out is that all the shoes are 25% off. And for $13.50, I should have picked them up. And I should have gotten some of these boots also. Look at all of the cowboy boots. Some very expensive brands that would be close to nothing with the discount. This wedding dress was gorgeous. And although I wasn't into clothes today, all of the clothes was half off as well. I totally blew it on this trip but i was definitely trying to practice some self-control because i just don't need so much stuff in my house right now so i'm strolling in the back through some of the accessories and the handbags and i saw a few cool pieces but nothing really stood out to me this one hat was kind of fun it had 3d flowers on it and it kind of reminded me of the top of mark jacobs perfume this is the one daisy by mark jacobs total replica on a hat they had a really great selection of belts. I found a lot of Brighton belts, which I really like because their buckles are so unique. Always check out the belt selection when you're at the thrift store. They're usually pretty inexpensive, typically about three bucks, and they're a perfect way to jazz up an otherwise plain outfit. Without fail, I can always find some pretty funky vintage pieces and I'll always take them home and I can cut them up and repurpose them for some other piece or wear them in a layered look or sell them online. So one way or another, they'll always get used and they're just the best accessory to have. And for three bucks, I picked up one of them that would have been perfect for Valentine's Day. This guy came home with me. It was just too cute to leave behind and I can't wait to wear it with some jeans this spring. Hi, you're adorable, but the rest of this was just not exciting me. Let me know if you see anything that I should have grabbed. The handbag situation was nothing to write home about. I did spot one that was super intriguing to me. It's this embroidered fish bag over here. I couldn't tell what the brand was, but I stood here for quite a minute trying to figure it out. This zipper pull said Riri on it, R-I-R-I, -R -I, and then some other markings on it said Susan Hadley or something like that. Well, I decided to leave it behind, but if you know anything about it, let me know in the comments below. They did have some pretty funky vintage suitcases. This guy was pretty neat. The handle was a little banged up, so I decided to leave that but I do love me some hard case suitcases and I saw a blue vintage one that was pretty neat. Unfortunately, didn't buy that either because I already have quite a few. So I started rummaging around these pouches, nothing special. So I passed on all of these, but here's a little look through for the sake of this video. Let me know if you see anything I should have grabbed. So the shoes at the beginning were their special shoe selection, and now I'm over to the normies. This is the whole back wall full of just the normal selection of shoes. I did find some that looked to be a little expensive, but they were brands I've never heard of, so I passed on them until I found some Tory Burch that were priced at $15 with an additional 25% off. Don't forget. Yes, please. Into the buggy. I love combat boots, but somebody drew all over these, so passed on the homemade shoes. Dirty Tevas that I just didn't feel like cleaning. Not for sale, but I love that chair. And I decided to scoot over to Home Goods. And this is where everything got a lot of fun because I found some great finds. Also want to mention that yellow tags were half off too and I didn't realize that either. And I fell in love with these handmade little birds, pelicans. 
that I definitely took home and, and look amazing in my bedroom. I love finding really big, interesting seashells at the thrift store, but bags like this, I find a dime a dozen and they're just not worth it because I can pick them up myself at the beach. And thrift tip, some shells sell for a lot of money on eBay, so check it out. Here are a few fun odds and ends on the shelves. So I'm just checking out to see what I can find. And this was pretty neat. It's bamboo preserved in resin. It is a bookend, but there was only one or I would have bought the set. I love dried flowers and these pressed vintage pieces were in a glass piece to hang on the wall. I thought this Asian gal was a beauty. Hello doll. I actually think I was at the thrift store on Fat Tuesday, so it was fun to see these beads. Baskets are one of those items that I never buy new and always thrift, especially the one on the top shelf. I don't know if I have another clip of it, but rewind and look at it again. Y'all know I love my coffee tumblers, especially Starbucks and Yetis, and here's a Starbucks guy. It's missing the straw, so I didn't buy it. I really loved this Coca-Cola lunch pail. I was hoping that it was older than it is. It said 2003 on it, so I decided to pass, but it is really fun. I mean, if you saw a box that said Betchsicles, you would stop and look too. I was so intrigued and needed to look inside to see what Betches by FabFitFun was making. And I opened it up and I gotta say I was pretty disappointed that they literally just look like regular silicone popsicle molds. What makes this a Betchsicle? I don't know. Are they shaped in wine bottles? Is that why? very disappointed. This didn't disappoint though. I found a Starbucks espresso cup that I took home with me. More Starbucks. I see you back there. I'm not sure if I bought this or not. I think I left this behind also because I just have too many and it was nothing special so I left it behind for someone else to love and bring home to their house. And I'm just perusing through the selection to see if there's one hiding in the back that needed to come home with me and I love the design of this guy but I don't see anything else that needed to be a keeper. And a final glance over the mugs before we keep it moving. Let's go. Holy mid-century modern. Look at this salad set. This serving bowl with mini salad dishes are total 70s vibes. This is a fantastic set of six and it was individually priced, but the cashier gave me the whole thing for eight bucks. I do not smoke cigarettes, but I do love finding vintage ashtrays at the thrift stores. I have this steamer and it's spectacular and I think I bought it at Ross and it is the best piece I own. I'm not sure what I loved more, the color of this glass or the shape of it, but this bowl was spectacular. Unfortunately, it has a big fatty crack in it and I decided not to get it because of it. You can't feel the crack through the glass, so I think that it didn't actually penetrate all the way. So I think it's still usable, but it wasn't for me. I love this teapot. This is also giving me mid-century modern vibes. I recently bought another teapot that looks very similar to this from the Goodwill. I'm not a tea drinker, so I don't have a need for so many teapots. Decided to pass on this guy because the resale value on eBay just wasn't that big. Can we please have a moment for these dishes? These plates are absolutely spectacular. I don't know how to describe them, but just fantastic. They're vintage, Japan, and they're B&H, and I love them, and they came home with me. My mama is a quilter, so I always look at the tapestries and the handmade stuff because I have a deep appreciation for all the handwork that goes into those. Didn't find anything at this store, so kept it going. So I recently got a sewing machine. I've taken up sewing as a new hobby. I love to go thrifting and taking different pieces of clothes and sewing them together to make something completely new, original, and awesome. So when I saw this sewing genie, I thought it could be a fun, cool new toy to play with. It was just priced a little too high for my liking. Lots of electronics, but I don't know what's resellable and what's junk, so I moved on. I decided to scope out the furniture before I left and saw this awesome pattern chair. Thought it was really funky, but check out this armoire made of all real wood and the lines were just fabulous. Isn't this really cool? It had some damage, but I loved it. $50. I love Mary Mecco everything. Grab this for two bucks, totally worth it. In fact, I think that was half off. Always check the display cases because it's always misleading. They think that this stuff is fancy, but it's never really marked too high. So I was giving this a scope around to see if I wanted anything. No. 
So time to check out. This is a preview of what I was getting. And this is my total here. And let's head to thrift store number two, The Giving Tree, right next door. How cute is this place? It's a converted home into a thrift store and every room is a different section. Absolutely fantastic. The kind of store you dream to shop in. I honestly could have spent all day here because there was just so much to look and at. And everything was half off. Everything. I've lived in Atlanta for over a decade and this is probably about 15 minutes from my house. I never knew this has been here. I've never been here before. And it is a dream thrift store. The prices were beyond reasonable. The inventory was excellent. Everything was clean. The people were so nice. You definitely need to go there and check it out if you're in the area. I'm browsing around the lower level now, scoping out the scene to see what I need. Hello. This room was a true treasure hunt. They had all sorts of little tchotchkes that I love to dig through. Like this mug with Snoopy that was very 90s. Super cute. And we all know I've got a thing for mugs. I had this vintage set in my cart until I realized on the bottom it had a big chip. I figured for three bucks it was cute, but unfortunately it was broken. Unlike Goodwill and some other thrift stores that I frequently visit, this store had great inventory with unique pieces and their shelves were not picked over. It was awesome. I really loved these candlesticks and the art was fantastic. But when this plate caught my eye, I was breathless. It's priced at $3 for half off. It has a chip on the bottom, but comps online range from $200 to $400 for that artist. I love it, so of course I bought it. So now I'm gonna go upstairs and see what else is up here because this is fantastic. Come on, I can't wait to see, I'm excited. amazing as you can tell i love these type of small mission mama papa thrift stores and prefer to shop here if i had the choice what's your type of thrifting style do you prefer a goodwill value village savers let me know in the comments below i mentioned my new sewing hobby earlier so all of these patterns threads and materials were very tempting I don't know why I didn't buy this rug hook. I love this shell and it would make a really cute pillow. All their stuff was just curated so nicely. It was so sweet. I wanted to take everything home with me. Oh, thrifter problems. This guy right here was pretty neat. It was made out of upcycled Capri Sun pouches and I was about to buy it, but it was in pretty dingy condition, so I left it behind. So this is the room that I started in when I initially came up the stairs. And if you go back to the video of me giving a tour of this room, you'll see a leather backpack. And I came back to go grab that bag, and when I came back to the room, it was gone. I think that the girl that I was talking to, who seemed about my age, and we were chatting a little bit while I was shopping throughout the store, I think she snatched that bag before I was able to get to it when I came back to that room. It was beautiful. It was an all leather mini backpack and it was kind of a slouchy style. Really cool. And I'm really upset that I didn't get to snag it before she could. But if she happens to see this video, I hope you love it. <laughs> she was really nice. She was suggesting some leather Italian boots that I ended up buying. I certainly didn't need anything else and I'm happy with the stuff that I got. And we're gonna end this thrift trip on this final note. That's a wrap for today. Going to grab some Cuban food at the best spot nearby, and then I'm gonna go home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.